blowing snow and big buildings, not usually the scene for a serious training session. Regional Health uh, graciously offered us the opportunity to train in the Rehabilitation Institute building. What we're working on is what we call high-rise operations, where we have a tall or large building. We're taking hose up the stairs, hooking into a standpipe, and then advancing hose down the hallway. Folded hoses make poor fodder for fighting fires until unfurled by force. Our goal was to gain access to the third floor and extinguish the fire. We have a high-rise pack, which is 150 feet of hose that's pre-set up to be able to take to a standpipe. The high-rise pack is heavy, and it's even heavier when it's charged. And uh, when you start to get kinks and we start to get knots, it's, it's hard to get it undone. It's, it's pretty manpower intensive and time intensive. The training incomplete without coaching amid the chaos. Everything looks easier when it's done on a video, but when you show up to do it, there's little things that you get hung up on, but for the most part, it went well. The old hospital wing getting one last hoorah before the plunger comes down and the structure demolished. This is a, a building that's got just a ton of doors and a ton of opportunity for them to train. You can't replace hands-on experience. Training that tones the troops for the next big blaze. In Rapid City, I'm Nick Reagan.